Okay, hello. And welcome back to Redstone Contraptions. Right, so basically, right, I'm quite annoyed because I just recorded a finger and it didn't record the sound. So now I'm doing a finger. Like, I'm telling you what I'm doing whilst watching it back because I'm quite annoyed. <laughs> so um, in this episode, we're going to be making uh, uh, the thingy what I made, the timer, whatever you want to call it. So I've already laid the um, the layout out for the thing. So what I'm doing now is for every one of these, you want to lay it out like this for the long ones, like this. And for these ones, you want to put one on the second one down, and then another one below that. If you know what I mean. So basically, just like that. And then do what I'm doing here. And you don't actually need that one what's in the middle. Which I'm going to get rid of in a minute. So you put a repeater there, a uh, rest on there, which will power, top one will power that one, and the bottom one will power the bottom one and the piston. So it'll basically just power them all together. So, just do the same on all of them. And I failed there. So, now just the top. And I actually failed there, so I don't bother watching this bit. Because I tried doing something which didn't actually work, so. Right, so yeah, the reason it didn't work is because there's, um, there's redstone at the side in the, in the circuits at the side. So it would have, like, all connected together. Like, if you see the redstone at the side there, uh, which is what I was actually uh, uh, talking about here. But um, if you see the redstone at the side, that would power with that system and then it will all get mi mixed up. So, yeah. So that's just the basic, that's just the, um, the actual clock laid out. And now you're going to want to get normal pistons, not stick pistons. And then you want to put seven pistons down, and I'm just putting it in line with the actual timer. Oops. And then you want to pile um, red blocks, four up. Oh well, you can do it any colour, but okay. <laughs> And then you want to put a piston behind that, like I do in a minute. Like that. And then you want to put them all, all the way along. Right, so. And then once you've put all the red, uh, once you put all the wool around it, it should be a 2x2 two two hole in the middle. So just like so. So I'm just placing the wall. Yeah. So how's your day been? <laughs> just bored in the middle of a commentary. So I'm just asking you how your day has been. Okay, so now you want to place them at the side, on this side. And uh, you want to get rid of a block, like so. It's like that. Like there's a block on each diagonal. If you not, if you can see what it's doing there. And then you put the pistons here. And then pistons on the top. Like so. <laughs> And I'm actually quite annoyed right now that it didn't record the voice, the in-game voice. Because my mic wasn't fully plugged in. <laughs> right, so now I'm just, um, I'm just making, like, a pulse 
thingy. Like a little clock. Right, so then the two diagonals need to go at the same time. So the two diagonals are on one tick, and then the other two diagonals are on six ticks of delay altogether. So I'm just wiring them up now. Which is pretty, like, you don't actually have to wire it up how I did it, but. And I accidentally put the rest of the touch down. So then you need to wire that up to the same, uh, to the ones at the top, at the other diagonal. And I actually did this bit wrong. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, you just wire it up like that. And then because that would have already been on one delay and it wouldn't have reached, I just got it from there and then got rid of that black wire. Like so. And then I put a repeater up here. There. So that's basically them two done. Now I've got to do the other diagonal. So you just want to put uh, repeaters on the floor, no that one, and they all need to be on full delay. And then up here, all full delay. I was just changing my wall back to white, so I didn't get confused. So, all in full delay. Like so. And I'll just send it back to me. So then, you wire it all up, and then this, uh, and then you bring the, um, the wiring down, and you want to have it two away from the, I mean, you want to have a gap away from the actual thing. So, yeah, and then you just bring it down, and then you put your wire in, you wire it up together, to that, and then because that's four ticks all together, I put the other two ticks under here, which will power that block, and power the redstone, which will power it all, so that's on two ticks and then I power it together and then once it's done it should all rotate like this I'll just start this, put the redstone torch down and delete it straight away so basically just like that and I'm just stopping it up so this bit, don't, don't actually do this bit because I messed it up well, I think it's this bit. Yeah, I messed this bit up, so don't put that, that there. And don't put these there either. You're going to want to put them a block higher, because it interferes with the actual thing, the actual system. Because it powers... A uh, uh, piston when it, when you don't want it to power it. So, like, yeah, I was just explaining that it'll power that because I've I just remembered I did it wrong. So you put your repeaters on top of there. Uh, no delay. And then redstone at the back. And the last one is a redstone torch. So they'll all be powered all the time. 
and then you want to put the uh, the blocks one higher than I put there. So when it's a glass block, the um, the current won't flow through it, but when it's a normal block, it will. So that's why this actually works. And then right here, I had to destroy the um, the blocks here so I could actually place the repeaters down, which is quite annoying. So, yeah. You're going to want to put repeater, then, um, then redstone, repeater, redstone, like alternate, like so. And now I was just filling it back in. Like so. And, and then the next step, you got, you don't want these to be like to make like power each other so I just put uh, these down one like the redstone go down and these go through a block and power a block at the other side so that they're not touching and connecting to each other so you just basically just wanna Basically, once you've done this, you're just going to want to connect each one to a different um, piston at the, on the actual timer, on the actual screen. So I'm just doing the last one now. Right, so now I'm just connect I'm going to connect the the um, each one to a different power thing, source. I mean to a different input. So I'll take this one to the top and I'll, and with the side ones you want to try and take them out a bit just in case it interferes with a different server, I mean a different um, circuit. Because it's like quite a compact area so you just want to keep them as far away as possible from each other as you can. And luckily, this actually reached to the to the finger. But if it doesn't reach, then you'll have to like try and improvise. So yeah. But for me, this was quite easy because they just all seemed to it just seemed to work out pretty easy. So I did the bottom ones to like all the bottom rows, and then the top ones to all the top rows. Like so. And then I just write it along like that. So then power this one to the next one. And then this one to the other one. So it's pretty simple, to be honest with you. It's not really that hard. But it's just like getting your head around it. And then I'll do the top three of these. So yeah. But the only real problem with this is getting your wiring so that it um, it doesn't all just like connect together. I'd say that's the hardest thing about it. But other than that, it's pretty easy. So yeah, I'm just doing this one now. And if you ever heard my brother in the background, it's cause he's always screaming his head off. Like at random things. Cause it's a bit weird. <laughs> and yeah, you wanna make sure that they're not connecting, which I was doing there. Okay. So once you've done that, you're gonna wanna get these so that they, um, cause you you want it to pull back when it's that number, 
so if say if you wanted a zero an eight you'd have to pull them all back. And I'm just adding more delay now to um uh thingy. So that it's easier to actually wire. And then you get you get rid of um that uh rest on there. And then just and then have that going around constantly. And then you want to get glass out here. There. And then for a zero, you'd have the middle one which wasn't there, so that one would just t go to a glass. Actually, no, that one would be left, all the others would be glass. So turn all the others to glass, and then that's your zero done. And then it's pretty much just simple from here. It's just wiring it together. And then every time you've done one, you just do one pulse through the whole circuit to then to rotate it once. So then now I'm going to want to do a one. So I'll pull these two down, these two back. So just follow the circuit. So that one, then the one below it, there. So that's a one. And now I'll, I think I'm doing two now. And then once I've done them all, I just, I mean, once I've, I think after I did two, I just stopped it and then went to the next recording. Because it was just easier to do that. rather than let you sit there watching me do it for ages. Um, I, I think I actually did the two backwards. I'm not sure. So I'm just finding, just going to the ones which are, need to be pulled back and following the wire. And then that's basically it. It's just simple, really. Well, this stage is simple. And sometimes with uh, one of the pistons, no, uh, the two bottom pistons, like the piston rolls, the top ones, like if you can see there, the top one didn't come out. So, I don't know why it's doing that, but if you know why it's doing it, then, and you can fix it, then by all means do, I don't know. I don't know why it's doing it. I think it's got something to do with the the thing above it, but I'm not too sure. So I think I just ended this bit here. So yeah. I'll just finish it and go back to the next bit now. Okay, so this is the the actual finished product thing. So I've wired them all up and changed the things to glass. As you can see, it's fully working now. And if you're gonna want to make it into a like a timer, you're gonna want to add an extra um, an extra layer onto it, so you'll have eight pistons instead. And then you have one uh, you have it all glass and then one wool, and then it goes to the next system and sends one pulse through that, so it changes the number once. And then once it's gone all the way around, it changes the number again. So, first time it changes it to 1, then once it's gone all the way around to 9, when it go once it goes back to 0, it'll change it to um, the next one to 2, and so on and so on. So, yeah. I'm not going to do that in this video, because it'll take too long. So, yeah. Please leave a like, favourite, comment, and subscribe. And you know what to do, don't you?